Her name is Dai Dai Hanores, and she's 23 years old. Ilan taon na kayo matira dito po? Lima. Anong hanap buhay mo dito po? Ano? Tumutulong ako sa asawa at maglaba ng plastic. She and her family have lived here for a little more than five years. Her husband is working as a scavenger on top of Smoky Mountain, and she is in charge of cleaning the plastic once it's been brought down from the dump site. Ilang mga anak po kayo? Dalawa. Ilang lahat po? Tatlo. Namatay pa isa? Kailan, kailan siya namatay pa? November 21. Bakit, ang, bakit namatay ang bata mo po? Ano yung... Minamanas. Tapos? Patapos bronco. Yung minamanas dahil kulang ang pagkain po? She has three children, one of whom died in 1984 from malnutrition, which was, ex which was exacerbated by bronchitis. The child died here in her house. The two children that she has are still alive. Yung asawa mo po, pumasok siya sa bundak ang basura araw-araw? Oo. Anong, anong hanap buhay niya dyan ho? Nangunguha sa ng plastic, patapos i-uwi dito sa balay. Magkano ang sweldo niya sa isang araw po? Wala. Yung sweldo ang mister mo? Wala siyang sweldo kaya lang iniipon lang niya. Patapos lalabhan namin, saka kami magkakaroon ng pera. Magkano ang bayad niyo sa isang araw halimbawa? Kumikita siya ng ano? 30, 20. 30 o 20, depende mm. sa araw. Mm. Oo. Her husband goes to work every day on top of Smoky Mountain, which is the garbage dump for Metro Manila. And he looks for plastics and metals that can be salvaged for scrap. He brings them back to the house when he's done with his shift on the mountain. And Dai Dai's job is to sort the plastics and clean those that can be resold to a bodega. Depending on how much he's found that day, the average income they make per day is 20 to 30 pesos. Saan po kayo talagang nang bago ang pum pumunta ko dito sa Manila po? Sa Bacolod. Bacolod? Saan ba yun ho? Sa Cadiz City. Sa Negros? Oh. Saan, sino ang kasama mo dyan na yun? Sino ang, may pamilya pa ka dyan? Sa Bacolod? Opo. Meron. Sino ang dyan pa ho? Nanay ko. Yung tatay mo, ang dyan pa rin? Wala. Namatay na? Hindi. Ah. Umalis siya sa bahay niyo? Mm -hmm. Noon pa? Oo, noon pa. Nang bata ka ba? Hindi, ano, 15 anos na ako. 15 an nang 15 anos ka? Mm -hmm. Tapos sino ang kasama ang nanay mo? Yung mga kapatid mo? Oo. Oh, oh. Ilan sila? Ano? Bali lima sila doon. Dai Dai is originally from the Visayan region, which is south of Manila from the island of Negros. She's from Cadiz City in Bacolod, which is the capital of Negros. Her father left the family when she was 15 years old, and her mother still lives there with five of her brothers and sisters. When she was still in the Visayas, one of her friends introduced her to a wealthy family who were visiting in Cadiz City, and they asked her to come to be a maid and a cook in their house here in Manila. Ilang taong ka na trabaho dyan noon at saka Magkano ang sweldo mo? Isa't kalahate, pagkatapos, ang sawad ko 80, 80 sa buwan. Anong ginagawa mo dyan sa bahay? Naglalaba ng damit, matapos nagluluto, naglilinis. She worked in the house uh, all day long, washing the clothes, tending to the cleaning of the house, and doing some cooking. Her salary was 80 pesos one, for one month. She worked there for one and a half years. Bakit umalis kayo sa bahay nila po? Ano? Nagkasakit ako. Nagkasakit ako sa kamay. Pigsa. Ngayon, kukunin ko sahod ko kaya bibili kong gam gamot. Wala raw akong sahod. Bakit hindi sila bumali para kayo? Ewan ko. Sabi nila ano raw. 
Wala naman daw akong ginawa, kaya wala raw akong sahod. May bakasyon kayo sa isang linggo, halimbawa? Pumasok kayo araw-araw? Oo. Pumasok araw-araw, pakatapos. Gusto mong mag-diop, wala, walang diop. She left the house because she, she started to get sick and her hands were getting very worn down from all of the washing. But the family would not buy medicine for her and she did not have enough money to purchase it herself. She also wanted to work, have one day off on Sundays so she could go to church and have time to spend with her friends, but they wouldn't allow her a day off. She was uh, told to work seven days a week. Tapos ano pa? Ano pa mangyayari sa tsaka yung pamilya? Sabi ko aalis na lang ako. Ayaw nila pumayag kasi hindi pa daw ako bayad sa ano, pamasay sa barko. Galing Bisaya. Ngayon, hindi nila ako pinayagan, lumayas ako. Magsalita sila ang yung mga masamang magsalita sa iyo po? Ano, sige, ang sabi nila sa akin, hindi ako pwede umalis kasi ano, wala raw, hindi pa daw ako bayad sa barko na pinamasahe ko. She left the house of the family where she was working because they got angry with her when she kept asking for medicine for her hands. She said she could no longer work if her hands were that sick. When she told them that she was going to leave the job, they, they got angry with her and they wouldn't give her her money that was owed to her and she needed the fare to take the boat from the house in Marikina. She left the house anyway and that's when she transferred here to Balutando. Anong Ano mga mangyari dito araw-araw? Halimbawa, isang araw dito sa balot. Anong description mo mga klase ng buhay dito para kayo ho? Wala naman. Tahimik na minsan. Patapos, masaya minsan. May awa kayo din minsan? Meron din. The life here is generally quiet. Sometimes it's even happy. And sometimes there's also trouble here. Nang bago ang pumasok kayo dito sa Manila ho, nang bago lumipa kayo dito sa Manila, anong isipin mo ang klase ng buhay sa Manila? Iniisip mo, ganyan ang buhay mo? Napaka lumipat ka Manila? Hindi. Ano ang paniginip mo? Anong paniginip mo ang klase ng buhay sa Manila? Akala ko dito sa Manila, ano, maganda, ma... ano, masaya. Before she came to Manila, she thought it was going to be a beautiful place. She thought it would be a place where she could make a living and it would be happy for her. But now that she's here, she realizes it's it's very hard to live here. Kasi hindi na ako uuwi doon kasi yung tatay ko wala na doon, nasa Mindanao na. May asawa na siyang panibago. Tapos ano ang hanapuhang nanay mo dyan po? Nagtitinda daw siya ng mga pagkain yung kakanin. She doesn't go home because her father left the family when she was 15 and he married another woman he's living in Mindanao now. Her mother still lives there in Cadiz City working as a tindera selling gulay, selling vegetables and small things in the market. So she can't go home there. 